luckiest old broad on TV. <laughs> and we were lucky to have her. The only child of an electrical engineer and homemaker, Betty began her career in radio in 1939. But in 1952, Betty got her first start in television with her first series, Life with Elizabeth. Well, this is Martha. You two are going to be brothers. Betty continued to work in TV over the next two decades, but it wasn't until 1973 that she found mainstream success. I'm sorry, but nothing you have said could ever make me change my mind about Lars. As the devious, man-hungry Sue Ann Nivens on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Betty won two of her five Emmys. She was your live-in neighborhood nymphomaniac, and uh, everybody should have a hobby, and boy, did she have a hobby. Then, in 1985, Betty began a new series and found yet another generation's worth of fans. Oh, we better put out the welcome mat. <laughs> we don't have a welcome mat. What about the one Dorothy says is at the foot of your bed? As the lovable and naive Rose Nyland, Betty and her fellow Golden Girls revolutionized what it meant to be a senior citizen. We're all just as vital and sensual and, and uh, nutty and good and bad as anybody else. In recent years, Betty had enjoyed a career revival. People just couldn't get enough of her, and she was everywhere. From hosting Saturday Night Live in 2010. Well, it's great to be here for a number of reasons. <laughs> to groping Sandra Bullock in The Proposal. It's like an Easter egg, huh? <laughs> Betty proved age is just a number. I'm blessed with good health. That's the bottom line, and that's the thing I'm luckiest about. But uh, I, I love what I do. And that's why, despite her age, Betty showed no signs of slowing down, even having two shows on the air at once. To still be working and have them come to you offering you work, not begging for it, that I, it's just too good to be true. Betty credited her positive and youthful spirit to her late husband, game show host Alan Ludden. Married for 17 years before he passed away of cancer in 1981, Betty called him the love of her life. I swear, somewhere in here he'd tell me, you gotta, you gotta keep going and you gotta, you know, shape up or ship out. Betty devoted much of her widowed years to being a champion of animal rights. Using her celebrity status and million-plus Twitter followers, she helped bring awareness to her cause. Please visit BadDogs.com to learn how to help today. But perhaps her biggest contribution has been making her golden years truly golden. Like Rose Nyland and friends, redefining age and loving each and every passing birthday. Everyone gets better and better and better and I get older and older and older, but it's wonderful.